Hey everyone, it's Nelson Miller with PA Creative. Welcome again to a tutorial on changing the Divi image aspect ratio. So we have one so far on the image module, the gallery, portfolio, and now last of all on the blog module. So we're going to change the way the blog module image looks. We might want it to be square. Maybe we want to do a Pinterest style where it's, you know, two, three aspect ratio, something like that. It's really easy to do this. I'm going to show you how with just a couple CSS code snippets. So one of the things I see asked of a decent amount in some of the Facebook groups is how to change the blog module featured image size or like change the aspect ratio, uh, make it square, make it taller, make it wider, make it so that it's not cropped, things like that. So I'm going to show you some of those things here. And if you've been following along here, you know, on YouTube, you're, you're probably getting a little bombarded with some of the tutorials, but um, we have, we've done one on the gallery module, the Divi image module, the portfolio module, and now the blog module. So I think that's the last in our little, our little aspect ratio image size series. Um, but if you've been following along, you'll know that we kind of have a little bit of a, of a math thing going here um, where we take you know the, the aspect ratio these common ones one to one sixteen nine four three uh, we take them and convert it to a percentage and then we make a little CSS snippet um, and and put that in it so that's what we're gonna do here so you know you probably probably what I see people ask the most is to make their blog images square and I get that, that's kind of cool. So what we're going to do is add a class, a CSS class, to, to our blog module. And to get that class, we're going to look at each of these. So I have square 1-1, one, one, landscape 16-9, then portrait 9-16, 3-4, and two, three. All right, so each one of these, as you can see, have, have a code snippet. And then I have a little screenshot so you can see it. Um, but if you look closely in the code snippet, you'll see that it starts out by saying PA block image one, one. And then, you know, if it's 169, PA block image 169. And then these numbers here change um, PA block image four, three. Uh, so those are really the, the key things that are changing in each one of these. But I'm going to start out with the first one, which is 1-1. One, one. So PA blog image 1-1. One, one. Go ahead and copy that. All right, so, so copy that and then go into your blog module. I have one set up here. I'm just showing you. Go to the settings, advanced tab, CSS ID and classes, open that, and then CSS classes, and paste that in there. So, so in here, in our blog module, we have PA-blog-image-1-1. All right, and so the 1-1, one, one, again, is our aspect ratio. So save that, and now we need to add a code snippet to, you know, tell that, tell this blog module that we want to change that. So let's go back here and copy the whole snippet. And I have them labeled, each one, so that will be easy to keep track of, but go to the page settings. So wherever you're at now, now ultimately you might want to put your CSS in the theme options or in a child theme, something like that. But for right now, I'm, I'm putting it in the page settings because it's, it's live. It's, it's easy to see here for us. So, so I went to page settings, advanced tab, custom CSS. We're going to paste in our snippet and there we go. Our blog module here. This is a, a live demo. Um, the image became square. It was really that simple. And, and, you know, if you thought that was really easy, go ahead and subscribe. This is the type of thing we, we do like literally every week. So if you like easy things that solve a problem, you know, subscribe and you're not going to get spammed. You're, you're going to get things like this. So anyway, give me a thumbs up or share it or something like that too. So, um, I'm going to show you just a couple more and, and you know, there's, there's lots of aspect ratios we could do besides this, and you can use our math. You could go up here and be like, okay, what's he doing here? 
Uh, you take the second number, divide by the first number. All right. Oh, okay. So three divided by four is 0.75. And then you move the decimal places over two places to the right. That becomes seven, five, and then add a percent sign. So that's how we're doing it. And you could literally do any aspect ratio you want. Like what's the new phone one? It's like 18, eight or so. I don't know. It's, it's something different than 16, nine. They're like taller. So if you wanted to do that when you easily could with this little formula. Um, so let's do, uh, let's see. Uh, let's do the, um, super tall one. No, let's do, let's do, <laughs> sorry. Let's do the two, three, because if you know, if you didn't know it, you probably knew it if you're on Pinterest. Um, that's the size. So like they recommend, I think 600 by 900 pixels. So that's two, three aspect ratio. So if you're doing a Pinterest blog and you know, you want your, you know, you don't want to have multiple featured images, one for Pinterest, one for Facebook, one for Twitter, all that. Well, just change it here so that your featured image on your website displays the same as Pinterest, right? It's kind of a no brainer. So let's copy this one and it's a two, three. So we can just copy this and go over here and we're going to go in and replace what we had there. Yeah. I think we had the one, one there. Yeah. So just override that to so paste in. And of course, you know, now we're not telling the blog module anything. We're not connected. So we know that the class only changed, you know, by, by a little and we're using our little system. So we're going to know that it's two, three, there you go. All right. So the, I would, you know, that's, I think it's kind of cool that you could do that and have your Pinterest featured images show up like that. Um, and then there's, you know, there's any other one that we want to do. And again, I don't need to show you, but it's kind of interesting how you can like, you, you can take this and use the system so that I've made here. And, you know, you obviously you're not going to be changing it around a lot when you're in website, but if you wanted to like test which one, so 16, nine. So now I know that, you know, my images are, are landscape, like a, a video, like a video thumbnail type of thing. And that's maybe that's what you want here. So 16, oops, yeah, 16, nine. And it, you know, gets a, gets a little, um, shorter. So there you go. That's how you do it. And hopefully that's pretty easy. Um, again, this is in a series. I did the, the Divi image module, the gallery module, the portfolio, filterable portfolio, and now the blog module. So they're all using the same system, but the code is different for each, but you know, check those out. If you're interested in those, I also have like uh, a separate tutorial. It's kind of the opposite. It's like to uncrop your images, okay? And that's a little bit of a whole different process because you're actually uncropping the images and making them whatever aspect ratio you upload them as. In our tutorial here, you could have an image that's like super wide or super tall and you could do this square one and it would be square. The other tutorial that I was talking about over, you know, you can find that it's like stop the crop or something like that. It's uncropping the image. And again, it's making it the aspect ratio that you uploaded. So these are a little different. And if you have questions, you know, reach out to us in our Facebook group. It's called the Divi teacher. You know, I'm going to be in there answering questions and, you know, I'll be posting tips and tricks like this. So, you know, go ahead and ask, um, don't be afraid, leave comments, things like that. Okay. So I hope you've enjoyed learning how to change that. I know that one there is quite a common request and believe it or not, even if you, um, think that your blog image is not cropped, sometimes it's cropped like just this little bit, even if you're using a normal, you know, standard landscape image. So you might want to check that out. So, you know, a lot of people, use this. A lot of people are asking for it. There you go. I think that's the last one in our series. I could, maybe there's more, um, image feed modules that I'm missing. Um, I could do maybe the shop module, something like that, but let me know if you want to see anything else, if I've missed any, 
and we'll see you in the next video.